Hi, you may know what is this. This is a DC to DC converter. Specifically, this is a boost converter. That means you can plug a voltage in and you can get a higher voltage out. Now this converter is fine, except for one thing. We can only select the output voltage with a variable resistor. But what if we want other ways to control it? Well, let me present to you this I2C controllable bug boost converter. Now some of you may not know what I2C is, and let's keep it really simple, it's just a communication protocol that all MCUs in the entire planet have. So this means we can control this bug boost converter with an Arduino, ESP32, STM32, or any other MCU you have in your mind. And I'm gonna show you how this works in a moment. Just please, if you want to support me, remember to leave a like and subscribe. Okay, I have the board here, and then I have a breadboard with an Arduino Pro Micro that will communicate with the DC-DC converter. As you can see, I have 9 volts at the output and 9 volts at the input. And now, if I click on the 12 volt push button, I bet something interesting will happen. And yeah, of course, a precise 12 volt output. And I can also add the 1 volt step, so 13 volt, 14 volt, and 15 volt. Now we can also add 100 millivolt, as you can see, or we can be even more precise, adding 10 millivolt. But not only we can step up the voltage, we can also step down the voltage. As you remember, we have 9 volts on the input, and now we have 3.3 volts at the output. And as before, we can play a little with the voltage. Now I add 10 millivolt, so we get a precise 3.3 volt, or we can add 100 millivolt, or 1 volt, and so on. Okay, now I'm gonna uh, flip the switch that I have back here. And yeah, that's just to remember the values. <laughs> and now what this does is we can uh, also uh, subtract the values we have so 4.4 volt and uh, we can subtract 1 volt and uh, we can also play with the other push buttons and uh, well that's it and uh, we can also obviously go back to 12 volt and so on I've also done a quick load test and these are the results for 3.3 volt 5 volt 9 volt 12 volt and 24 volt input. Although don't take those too seriously. What I really like about this converter in particular is that it can work with an input voltage from 3 volt to 30 volt, which means we can use like anything, like two AA batteries, 9 volt batteries, lithium ion batteries, uh, wall adapters, and the output can be roughly between 0.8 volt to 21.4 volt. So again, a wide output voltage. Now again, since this converter is I2C controllable, we can set the output voltage with everything we want, for example, Bluetooth or infrared. Uh, we just have to tell our MCU what to do. And for example, here I'm using Bluetooth and it works just fine. Now, I'm gonna show you how to program this board, but first let me thank my sponsor, PCBWay, who provided the PCB used in this video. If you want really good looking PCB, I highly suggest to check PCBWay.com using the link in the description. They can also assemble PCBs for you or offer 3D printing and CNC machining, with tons of material to choose with. Just check PCBWay.com, link in the description. The first thing we have to do, since the converter works with I2C, is to include the I2C library. Then I have here three variables that for now we can forget, and then we have the I2C address of our converter and the various registers addresses. At this setup, we simply initialize the I2C library, we then start with the communication with the board, we then tell the board to turn on, otherwise there will be no output, and then we end the transmission.
we will use the serial monitor to change the voltage, so we also call serial begin. At the void loop, we start by asking our Arduino if there is any new value in the monitor, and then we constrain the value from 0 to 2047, which are the two boundaries for our value. So 0 will be the minimum voltage, and 2047 will be the maximum one. Now, since we can have 2048 different values, our number has 11 bits, which means we need two bytes to store the number, and so we split the value in half. Then we begin the transmission with the converter, and we write the two bytes first in the LSB register, and then in the MSB register. And that's it, you are done. As always, we can also make the functions that we can call every time we need, as I did here. I want also to mention that if we need no more than 10 volt at the output, we can reduce the minimum step from 10 millivolt to 5 millivolt, as I'm doing here. Now, unfortunately, you cannot buy this board because I've only two of them. Should I make a crowdfunding for this board so that anyone can buy it? I think it's a pretty dang good board. Well, for the moment, I can show to you the IC I used, that is the TPS55289. Which in reality it's much more than just setting the output voltage with I2C. Given a shunt resistor, you can also set the output current in a 15 milliamp step. You can set the slew rate, force at PWM or PFM, you can compensate the voltage drop. It's really an amazing IC in my opinion. And if you want some help building your DC DC converter, you can always use the Webench tool from Texas Instrument, which is an amazing tool that I use every time I need to work with their DC converter. As last, I want to remind you that this is not the only way we can digitally control a DC-DC converter. We can also use a PWM pin of your Arduino, a digital to analog converter, or a Digipot. But for those, I encourage you to watch my other video on how to hack a DC to DC converter. Hope you appreciated uh, the board I made uh, and gave me some feedback. Okay guys, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and see you next time. Bye!